hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install kali linux in your virtualbox now for those of you who don't know what virtualbox is virtualbox is a tool which allows you to run different operating systems on your host operating system so this is actually a virtual machine now first we have to download and install virtualbox you can see i already have virtualbox installed on my computer but you can download and install on your computer the installation process is actually very easy so you have to go chrome and then search for virtualbox so it will take you to this page you can see oracle vm virtualbox so you click on it and then by the left you can see downloads over here click on downloads and then select your host system so we are using a windows machine so we click on windows host and it will download virtualbox to our device so you can see virtualbox is now downloading i already have it installed so i don't need to download again so you just have to download and then install with the normal installation method if you find it difficult to install I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox so you can check it with the link in the description. Now we also have to download the Kali Linux ISO file and to do that, search on Google for Kali Linux and you can see the first page over here Kali Linux so click on it and then click on download. So you can see Kali Linux works on almost all devices so we are downloading it for a virtual machine so we click on recommended on that virtual machine over here and it will take us down and this is where we are going to select the virtual machine we are using you can install kali linux on vmware and you can also install it on the virtual box now this depends on the virtual box you're using so we are going with 64 bit virtual box so now I'll click on it and it would start downloading now this file size is about 3.7 gig i already have it downloaded in my system so you just have to download it and then keep it for later we are going to use it for the installation now right click on the kali linux file we downloaded and then you can see open with now you can see virtual box manager because we now have virtual box in our system click on it and it is going to open this way now we can make changes here so you scroll down and then select the guest os type click on it left click on it and then we can change it from here to linux and then set it to linux 2.2 2. now you can see the cpu over here so let's increase the cpu to let's say 3 depends on your system cpu and then we can change the ram here let's go with 6 gig of ram now you can actually make changes to this later so now everything is set now let's click on import down here and then click on agree so you can see our new machine has been created automatically now if you had tried to install this directly by clicking on start and then importing this file it will not work because this is actually an ova file instead of an iso file so now you can select the machine which is kali linux 2022 and click on settings now we can go to system over here and then change the motherboard the ram we are running and then this is the processor and we can select the number and we can actually make changes to anything here and then click on ok to apply it you can also see the video memory and every other thing now let's click on start so kali linux has now been installed now the default username and password for kali linux is kali so you just enter kali there and then log in so guys this is actually easy and this won't take up to 20 minutes now one last thing i will show you is how to change the default password from kali so people won't be able to access your machine now to change the password open the terminal up here so you can see the terminal up here click on it and this is our kali linux terminal now run the password command with super privilege by typing in this command now enter your current password which is kali and then enter your new password confirm hit enter and then you can see our password has now been changed now let's log out from our machine and then log in again log out the username is still the same since we didn't change it and then the password is the new password we changed to now and our machine is now up and running so basically this is how to change the password of your machine if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification if you have any question or you have issues while installing, make sure to comment and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.